What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, I want to give you guys a tip to have better PCI placement. This is a huge, huge tip, so make sure you guys stick around for this. It's going to make you a much better hitter. Now, the last two days, we've come out with two tutorial videos. One of them is how to be a beast with analog pitching. Uh, it's it's a very, very... I, I've been throwing tons of dots lately. My game has completely changed. I highly, highly recommend that you check out this video. It will be linked at the end of the video. We also had another video about hitting yesterday, and I highly suggest you guys check out that video. These videos, these videos, I feel like are the two videos that just perfectly, th these videos can take your game from the 700s to World Series. I have no doubt about it. But this last video today is going to really, really put you over the top as well. And what it talks about is what your thumb placement is on the left stick when you are hitting. It's extremely important. You know, we talk about throwing dots where your thumb needs to be, your right thumb needs to be on the right analog stick to uh you know just be consistent to have a plan especially you know when you're down late in the game and you need to come back and you need some consistency and the nerves are flowing and you just really want to try to get that win this is going to set you up with that perfect blueprint of what to do you could even take this blueprint that i'm laying out in these videos and eventually be way better than i would ever imagine because you have better reaction time you put in the work to practice, all kinds of stuff like that. So let's talk about the thumb placement that you're going to need. I'm also going to show you guys some in-game clips so you know it's it's legit as well. But we talked about yesterday in the video about how you need to make very small movements with the PCI because the PCI itself is extremely sensitive. It's just very sensitive. I said in yesterday's video, if there was like a sensitivity setting that you would see in most video games, uh, I would say it's like an eight out of 10. It's extremely, extremely quick. So how can we mitigate that? Well, I found out a way to mitigate that, to make it easier on yourself and not make it so that, you know, you don't wanna be dropping your PCI. This is gonna help you not drop your PCI. This is gonna help you uh, just in a variety of ways. Uh, it's going to make it easier to make those minimal movements and use the sensitivity to your advantage. So basically what you do is you grip the left stick. Instead of gripping it at the, the tip of your thumb or in the pad of your thumb, you're actually going to grip the left stick down at like the intersection of your thumb. So I'm going to put some pictures on screen here of what this means. You have that like bend in your thumb. I think that's probably the best way to describe it. You have that natural bend in your thumb. Um, that's where you want to place it right in the middle. You want to place it right in the middle. Even you can even go like, you know, I, I'm looking at my controller right now uh, as I'm recording this. And, you know, you really want to go like right in the middle with it. Um, that's going to mitigate how much the PCI moves around uh, in comparison. And uh, I'm gonna hop into a game real quick so I can uh, I can show you what that's like. Okay, so you can see like this thing moves around really really fast when you move it around. But if you put the bend of your thumb in the middle of the left stick, it helps mitigate the sensitivity of the PCI and allows you to not drop it. And that's really the key. You don't want to be slamming this thing down. You know you don't want to be dropping the PCI. You just want to be moving the PCI towards it. If you give it a try, uh, you're going to see major results quickly uh, because now you're not going to be dropping your PCI. You're just going to be moving it that slight distance it needs to be moved. And you don't have to be exactly 100% perfectly precise. Uh, what I mean by that is you don't have to just barely move your thumb at all. You actually can uh, put a little bit more force behind your thumb. So that's really like a, a big advantage. You know, you can be, uh, you don't have to be like doctor surgeon precision with your thumb. You can have a little bit of grace with your thumb, but it's key to just move, you know, it's key to have this kind of a thumb placement on the left stick. Uh, as far as control freaks go, I do use the Omni control freak. Um, any control freaks really do. I like the low rise ones, but 
That's really what I I recommend you go after. I don't know why I'm swinging at bad pitches. I'm like trying to hit a home run for the video and swing it at anything instead of having my normal approach. But make sure you guys check out the videos that are on the channel. Uh, as far as the hitting and the pitching, they're going to be linked at the end of this video. Let's go ahead and get into the clips section of this video so I can show you guys some of the clips that I got from yesterday. And um, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so all these clips are from my Twitch channel. I stream every night on Twitch, usually about 9 p.m. Central Time. And uh, I just play ranked seasons every night over there. So if you're looking for a stream, come check me out over on Twitch, Movie Gaming TV over there. Uh, get a smash there with uh, Chipper Jones. Uh, didn't drop there. Here's Bellinger. Wasn't perfect. This is like one clip that it really wasn't perfect compared to some of the other clips. But we didn't move too much on that one. Uh, we were able to get that for a base hit up the middle. Here's Buster Posey. No drop, but just perfect. Uh, you know, we didn't drop all the way to the right corner. We moved it a little bit from the middle, just over to the right smash that pitch there's another one where we didn't drop all the way just moved it to that perfect location with craig biggio we see a mistake we move up just that slight amount with mickey mantle and drive it all over the wall for a home run in that clip now we've got dylan carlson up here's the pitch uh saw it down the middle our timing was just perfect as well smash it over the wall and didn't drop anything like that just saw this the fastball red fastball went with it uh at this point i felt like my opponent was getting a little bit to the point where like um his will was getting broken a little bit so usually people are going to throw you some pretty good pitches and so we uh we finished off this game uh with the mercy rule this is on uh this is on hall of fame by the way too because i was uh going on my world series run i will have my world series gameplay i think i'm going to put that up today i'm just going to react to that um, here's another pitch to Mantle. This is a different game. Uh, again, not dropping, staying right on that, uh, cutter. Uh, another pitch here to Larry Walker. Uh, no drop there. Just read the fastball. Uh, just maybe a slight movement down. Again, uh, smashing the pitch down the middle. Didn't drop on that. Just moved it over just a slight bit to the left, I believe, on that one. Buster Posey, a little bit. Just a slight movement up and to the left uh, from middle. Caught it right in the middle for a smash. Now we got Larry Walker in this clip. Smashing it to the left side. That good. We, you know, we didn't move the PCI all the way over to the side. Just that little movement to the side. The thumb plays didn't really help it out. There's a smash here from Mickey Mantle as well. Again, just a slight movement down to the left. You never have to move the PCI that much. You really don't ever have to move the PCI that much. That's about as far as you're ever going to have to move it. Buster Posey with the slam to save the game. So it's like that was a situation where we had to save the game. Facing a really good opponent here, World Series type opponent, uh, moved that PCI perfectly. Um, it's that slight movement. That's all all you need, and it just it really gives you uh, that ability to do that with this thumb placement. It's great. Put all of these three videos together. Put the analog pitching video together with the drills that you need to work on uh, and then use this thumb placement you will make the world series doing this i have no doubt about it uh, just to put in a little bit of practice there's a smash and this is a big park to hit a home run in and we smashed one out with larry walker there check out the pci placement on this one with reggie jackson bam all the way climb the ladder and smash that one so there's some clips. Check it out. Let me know down in the comment section if it helps you guys out. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for checking out my videos recently. I really, really appreciate the support. I really hope that these videos help you out. If they do help you out, please let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, I always love reading that. I love seeing that it's actually helping someone out. So do not hesitate to leave a comment down in the comment section below. Or if you have any questions, leave a comment down in the comment section below and I will try to get to that comment as quickly as I can so that I can answer it. Make sure that you guys subscribe so you don't miss any of the content. We post daily MLB The Show content that can help you get better at the game. Uh, basically, it's just uh, like a guidebook for the entire uh, Diamond Dynasty, whether it's making stubs, whether it's trends, whether it's news. Uh, now we get these hitting tips up there. 
If you want to watch me play live too, just go ahead and watch me over on Twitch. Uh, just look for Movie Gaming TV on over there. Uh, look me up over there. You can follow me on Instagram as well. Follow me on Twitter. You can always hit me up over there as well. Hope you guys have a great uh, day today. And just again, thank you guys so much for watching my content. I really appreciate you.